As people who use and are pretty passionate about credit cards, I feel like we all get pretty excited talking about how we get three to 5% back on most of our purchases. However, if you really think about it, that's really not that big of a number by any means. Is that better than using a debit card? Well, of course, but have you ever wanted a little bit more than that? In this video, I'll be going through a dummy booking I did for a Hilton resort in Cancun, Mexico, where we won't just get three to 5% back, but we'll actually get about five to 10 times that value. And we'll accomplish this by using three simple tools as part of a cash back stacking strategy. While I am calling this a cash cashback stacking strategy, we're actually going to be earning a lot of Amex membership rewards points through this transaction as well. So it's not really just dedicated to those who are on team cashback. With that being said, let's jump into tool number one, which is American Express's offers. For those of y'all with a credit card from really any lender, you're probably at least somewhat familiar with the idea of credit card offers. If you go into your app where your credit card is located and scroll down a bit, you'll usually see a bunch of little boxes telling you these offers that you can get if you use this certain credit card at this certain location. You can also find these same exact things on their website, of course, and that's that's exactly what I've done here. Amex is one of the most famous lenders with offers that a lot of people use pretty frequently. So today we'll be looking at my Amex gold card and trying to find an offer in there. If you're wondering how I have like 300 plus offers activated on my account, no, I did not go through and manually click those to add them to my account. But the way I do that is through the paid tier of Max Rewards Gold, who y'all have heard me talk about a lot on this channel. No, this video is not sponsored by them and we're not gonna talk about their app any further than this. But if you're somebody that uses offers a lot and wants them automatically activated for you, that's the beauty of Max Rewards Gold. As I mentioned before, we're going to be doing a dummy booking with Hilton. So we're going to scroll down here and try to find a Hilton offer. And here you go. As you can see here, I found a Hilton offer where if we spend $1,000 or more, we'll get $200 back on select resorts and destinations. If you take the $200, we'll get back for using this offer divided by the $1,000 you had to spend to get this offer and then multiply by 100 to get that number into percentage form. That's a 20% return on spend for just using this one offer. And remember, this is just tool number one that we're talking about here today, but let's keep going through this. One thing to check before making your purchase that you assume will trigger this offer on your credit card is to go ahead and drop that down so we can see the details and the offer terms of this offer. As we can see here, the first couple lines of the details are exactly what we'd expect, but we also see that the thousand dollars we have to spend has to be in one or more purchases on room rate and room charges at participating Hilton properties in the US, Mexico, Caribbean, Colombia, Honduras, and French Polynesia from March 1st, 2023 to May 31st of 2023. So the biggest key there is that this does expire. So you have to be booking a trip within these dates in order for this to activate the credit. On top of that, though, you see there's a whole nother section under that for the offer terms. And the first thing it says is that the enrollment is limited and that you must first add the offer to the card and then use the same exact card to redeem. There are some limits on that, and that's kind of what we just discussed. But something that was really important to me to find out is what actual resorts is this going to be eligible for? And luckily, they actually provide you a direct link to a chart that tells you which properties are going to make you eligible for this offer. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and open up that chart and let's scroll through here to see if we can find one in Cancun, which is where we're trying to stay. If we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that there is a Hilton Cancun all-inclusive resort that will trigger this offer for us, which is perfect. Now that we know that, I know that as long as I use my Amex Gold card with that offer activated at an eligible location during the dates listed in the offer terms, I know that I will get $200 back if I spend $1,000 or more on this booking. But that's not all. Like I said, this is tool number one of three, so we can do better than this. A separate tool that I use really frequently, not just with travel purchases, but with all of my online purchases is Kudos. In particular, their Kudos Boost feature would actually add to our cashback stacking methods here because what that does is double your earnings on eligible online purchases through companies like VRBO, AT&T, Booking.com, StubHub, and much more. Unfortunately, Boost is not going to apply to our booking here today, which is why it's not one of the three tools that we're talking about here in this video. But even when it doesn't give you direct rewards back through Kudos Boost, it's actually still a really helpful tool that pre-fills your credit card information for you and tells you exactly what card to use depending on the site that you're shopping at to get the most rewards back. As I mentioned previously though, they do have a lot of travel websites that they actually give you kudos boost back on. And with summer being right around the corner and the average household in the US spending about $2,644 per year on travel, if you fall into that camp, I would highly suggest downloading kudos for free as a Chrome extension to your browser. Not only that, they also have an app that you can use, which is even more convenient. But rather than you just hearing that from me, here are some actual reviews from Kudos's Chrome and App Store pages. Steph G writes, kudos gives me peace of mind that I'm using the best card for my purchase. And Annie A writes, enjoying kudos on my iPhone because the majority of my shopping is online these days. I love the autofill feature and that kudos makes it so that I don't have to remember what credit card to use at checkout to get the most points. If you're looking to save money this summer, I highly suggest that you give kudos a shot because they do save the average user about $750 per year. So don't wait, use code Spencer to go ahead and download kudos for free using the link down in my description or going to joinkudos.com slash Spencer. Once again, that's joinkudos.com slash Spencer so that they know I sent you. The future you will thank you later. Tool number two that we'll be using today is going to 
FBA site that y'all know and love at this point, and that's going to be Rakuten. What is Rakuten, though, for those that don't know? Rakuten is basically a cashback portal that allows you to activate offers similar to those Amex offers we just talked about that allow you to get cash back in the form of actual cash or actually in the form of Amex membership rewards points. All you have to do is really shop like normal, and you can use their Chrome extension to activate any offers that they have on that site that you're shopping on, or you can actually go to Rakuten's website and initiate your search from there. And when you do it that way, it will automatically activate it on that site that you click on through Rakuten's portal. As I just mentioned, though, all of the cashback that you earn through Rakuten actually can be elected to be given to you in Amex membership reward point form. All you have to do is link an eligible Amex card that earns Amex membership rewards points. And even if you shop with other cards through Rakuten, you'll still get points back in Amex MR point form. So for example, if you use the Chase Sapphire Preferred for an online purchase that codes as a streaming service, for example, and that gives you 3x back on the Chase Sapphire Preferred, if Rakuten also had a deal where they gave you 5% back on top of that for that streaming service, you would also get 5x Amex membership rewards points in your account. So you'd kind of be double dipping across lenders there, which is pretty cool. For those of y'all that haven't signed up for it yet, I will leave a link down below too, where you can actually get 30 to $40, depending on the time you're watching this, for free if you sign up using that link and then spend that exact same amount of money within 90 days through Rakuten. Just don't forget to actually make those purchases or you will not get that money back. But how are we going to use Rakuten for this booking here today? Well, I'm honestly just going to go to Rakuten. And since I know I'm booking a Hilton property, I'm just going to go to their search bar and type in Hilton. As we can see, they're currently giving up to 2.5% back on Hilton purchases. But what does that up to 2.5% mean? How much will we actually get back? Going to the details of this offer, we see that the categories of blue member hotel stay and non-member hotel stay will get that highest 2.5% back. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know what a blue member is with Hilton. I assume that just means a new member to Hilton who haven't actually earned any statuses yet. I could be wrong about that. So y'all let me know if that's an incorrect assumption down below. But let's just assume that for our booking, we do fall into one of these categories. Technically right now, I would fall into one of these categories since I have no status with Hilton. And remember this 2.5% back is actually going to be 2.5 Amex membership rewards points per dollar spent back. So for me, I'm going to be using my Amex gold card as we talked about earlier to activate that Amex offer as well as give me 2.5 Amex membership rewards points back by also using Rakuten. Also note that 2.5% back is actually really low for Rakuten. A lot of times they're going to be running special promos where you can get 10 or 15% plus back on all of your purchases with eligible merchants. And usually there's a really long list of merchants you can get that high of a percentage back with. Honestly, it's just kind of always smart to check Rakuten before you make any online purchases if you know, if you want to save that extra money, of course. However, even though this is low, getting 2.5% back for a couple of extra clicks is no problem for me. Tool number three that we'll be using is a tool I was actually just recently introduced to whenever I was approved for my Capital One Venture X, and that would be Capital One Shopping Portal. These days, it seems like almost every company has a shopping portal. I saw Ben Hedges video recently where he said that Southwest has a shopping portal, which I was kind of shocked about. However, all of them can be used to your advantage. And in this case, we're just going to be talking about Capital One Shopping Portal. Similarly to Rakuten, if I went directly to Capital One Shopping Portal, I could initiate my search from there to activate any rewards back I want to get, but you can also use it as the browser extension and activate it whenever you're at checkout in order to see if you can get something back. For this booking, I honestly didn't even expect to use this tool, but when I was checking out, they popped up a dialog box that said I would be getting 2.5% back if I activated the offer right there through the extension. Of course, I did so, and that added a third layer to our cashback stacking strategy here today. There is another major way we haven't talked about that would give you a ton of points back for all of your spend. And although that value isn't going to be deposited to you directly after you make that purchase, it still warrants a discussion before we tally up our reward totals here in a little bit. The method I'm alluding to here is applying for a new credit card and spending towards a welcome bonus. For example, since we're talking about the Amex Gold card here in today's video, let's say that I had just gotten the 90,000 point welcome offer on the Amex Gold, which would give me those 90,000 points after spending $4,000 in the first six months of having the card. If you value your points at the rate that a lot of people out there, including myself, will tell you Amex membership rewards points are worth two cents per point whenever you redeem with Amex's travel partners, those 90,000 points would be worth $1,800. If you do the math of taking $1,800, dividing by 4,000 and multiplying by 100 to get it into percentage form, that's a 45% return on spend for all that spend you did in those first $4,000 on the card. However, let's be more conservative for the sake of conversation here today and say that you only value your Amex membership rewards points at one cent per point. That would make your 90,000 Amex membership rewards points worth $900. And then doing that same math we talked about a second ago, that would make your return on spend 22.5%. That means that technically for every dollar you spend up to that first $4,000 for the welcome bonus spending requirement, you'd be getting 22.5% back on all of those purchases. That's also without taking into account the actual earning categories you get on those purchases, but that's a conversation for another time. Of course, that number is not going to be exactly what you get back right after making that purchase. If you made a $10 purchase, you're not going to get $2.25 back right after that. But that is effectively the value you're going to get for that first $4,000 worth of spend 
to get the 90,000 Amex membership rewards points. And again, that was at a value of one cent per point. But now let's actually get into the math of how all of this works out and see what actual percentage we got back for this purchase. First of all, of course, we need to make the dummy booking and say that we're gonna be staying from Friday, September 1st to Monday, September 4th, just to make up some dates. It's important to note though, that before I got here, I activated that Amex offer we talked about at the very beginning. And then I click through Rakuten's portal to give me 2.5% back on Hilton. Once we get to the checkout screen, you can see that the total for this day would be $1,093.95 which theoretically will trigger me getting $200 back from that Amex offer. And since I activated Rakuten beforehand, I'll still be getting the 2.5% back. But as you can see here at checkout, I'm also gonna be getting 2.5% back through Capital One Shopping Portal, like we mentioned. Also, as you can see in the bottom right, Kudos is obviously gonna recommend the card that gives me the most value on this purchase. But since we're using an Amex offer, I'm actually gonna be using my Amex Gold card here instead, even though it's only gonna give me one X back on this purchase. If we were to take into consideration the fact that I was spending towards a welcome bonus on this card right now, at a one cent per point valuation for those points, and that 22.5% return on spend we discussed previously, I would be earning back $246.14 from this booking. Also, don't forget that if we valued our Amex points at two cents per point, we would get double that amount of value from this booking, which would be practically like 50% off. But we can stay conservative here at the one cent per point to get that roughly $250 back. However, like I said before, that's not necessarily liquid cash that's going into our pocket, and we won't even realize those gains until we spend the full $4,000 and get those 90,000 points into our account. Until then, the only actual earning category we will get from this purchase from the gold card is 1x back. 1x back on this purchase is about $10.94 at a rate of 1 cent per point. And we're not actually going to take that number into account in our final calculation here because we want to talk about more just the cashback stacking side of the game. But I did want to remind you the power of welcome bonuses and why you see people applying for so many cards. Getting 50% back basically on all of your purchases, as long as you're constantly spinning towards a welcome bonus and earning points that give you a very high valuation in cent per point form, that's really unmatched. However, let's add up exactly what we earn back directly in our pockets after making this booking without worrying about the cent per point value. Remember, we used three main tools here that gave us direct cash back for this booking. The first of which being the Amex offer that gave us $200 back after spending $1,000. So therefore, as a statement credit, we'll be getting $200 back from this booking since we spent more than $1,000. But we also navigated to Hilton's website through Rakuten, which activated another 2.5% back for us on this booking. That actually would come to me in the form of Amex membership rewards points, but we're just going to give a cash back value of one cent per point for those points that I did earn, meaning that that would give me an additional $27.34 back for making this purchase. And on top of that, when we were checking out, we got that Capital One shopping portal to activate another 2.5% back, giving us another $27.34 back for making this purchase. To tally up our totals though, our total price for this day was $1,093.95, but we've been able to earn back $200 from that Amex offer and $27.34 from both Rakuten and Capital One's shopping portal. That brings our net cost down to $839.27, giving us a total of 23.2 percent back on this purchase. And remember, that's without adding in any of the Amex membership rewards points we'll earn back from this purchase, both from our base earnings and if we were spending towards a welcome bonus. So just keep that in mind. This is just one example on a hotel booking that I only used a select few tools on, but this can be used in so many other situations to get you not only just 24% back, but maybe even 50, 75, or even more percent back if you use the right tools. If you have any methods that you frequently use, be sure to leave those in the comments to make the comment section a really helpful place for folks. And also, if you want to sign up for any of the tools that we talked about today, be sure to check the links down in my description to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. If the idea of cashback really appeals to you, then be sure to go ahead and check out this video here that I did with RJ Financial, where we tried to build the most optimal cashback setup for your highest spending categories. As always, Odin and I both want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, and we'll catch you guys next time.